Okay. And the last one, uh, boy, I'm just going to call you BK, okay? <laughs> For short, uh, instead of boy Um, The last one is Night Tale. Um, Night Tale was a good episode because it showed this is where Bru uh, Clark had teamed up with Tim Drake, Robin, because Bruce was missing in Gotham. A lot of villains of Gotham started trying to try to get their notch up in Metropolis. Uh, and uh, when Sup Clark caught some of the villains, they talked about Batman missing. Uh, Superman donned the Batman costume and uh, went around as Batman for a while. It was classic. I love that episode. Um, it was so cool. Uh, Batman came to Commissioner Gordon and one of his, you know, local officers. And one of the officers, after Batman left, after I should say Clark left, it was funny because Commissioner Gordon gave Superman uh, a, a photo, and in the photo it had Bane out of costume, and. Tim looked at it and he knew who it was, but Superman he didn't know who he was like uh, in his head, you know, who's this guy? And Tim walked away a couple of inches, a couple of feet back, and whispered, Bane. And Clark said and said as Batman, Oh yes, Bane. <laughs> so <laughs> he didn't know who it was. It was funny. And then when they were walking away, uh, you, you, it was funny. You see him, uh, Clark, reaching in all the the utility belts, the uh, compartments, looking for for the uh, grapple hook. And then <laughs> uh, Tim had to say, uh, "Right, right side." And uh, it was funny. It was so funny. Um, you know, in that episode, also we got to see Clark, the the animated version of Superman, get a little bit more respect for Batman. Because there was also a scene where they're sneaking around and Superman saying, all this sneaking around is not, it's not my forte. And Tim saying, you know, not fun. What are you talking about? It's half the fun, you know, things like that. Um, we find out that some Brainiac had injected nanites into Bruce and was using Bruce to uh, create a rocket for him. At one of Wayne Aerospace, yeah, that was the name of it, <laughs> um, or something like that. And we found out it was Brainiac. Um, it was a classic episode. So yeah, those are some episodes I really enjoyed. Those are some of my favorites. There are more, but definitely those are some of my favorites. And your last question: Are you gonna watch the season finale of Smallville this Friday? Of course. Uh, a lot of guest stars are going to be coming back uh, from, I think, Black Canary, Cyborg, you name it. You know, anybody who's a guest star supposedly is supposed to come back for the battle. Uh, for, it's supposed to be big surprises in this season finale. Um, and I'll, you'll probably hear me do a, a review on the, the ninth season's uh, season finale. Uh, but stay tuned for that. Um, so I am looking forward to that. Okay. Um. So thank you for the question. Uh, two more, two more, two more people have a couple of questions for me, and it's another long time guy I haven't heard from the gamer seventy nine, and he asks me Red Dead Redemption thoughts thoughts bro. Can't wait. Uh, this is probably gonna be the best western game. Of 2010, uh, definitely, definitely, Rockstar is gonna has got another hit here. Uh, in my book, has got another hit here, and they're gonna deliver on this one, bro. So May 18th for all those who got a 360 or a PS3, Red Dead Redemption, it's gonna do something. Lost Planet 2, he asks me, no doubt. No doubt about it. Another game. Uh, looking forward to getting sometime soon. Uh, Love the first one. Um, still haven't even beaten the first one. <laughs> uh, but definitely looking forward to it. 
uh, for all my uh, uh, Ge Ge Gears of War fans in there, Marcus and Marcus and Dom are in this game. So yeah, you can be able to play with them. Wow. So yeah, looking forward to this gamer. Okay. Oh, matter of fact, I'm sorry. I'm skipping. Actually, matter of fact, there was three more people. Two more people. Now, now there's two more people. Okay, Major T comes back to me. And he says, hey, hey kid, I don't think anyone has asked you this before, but what's one of the most embarrassing things that's happened to you? Ooh. Ah, oh, man, most embarrassing thing that's ever happened. Oh, I got a good one, good one. I think y'all gonna laugh at this, but be like, whoa. So one day, I was at a family barbecue and I'm out there kicking it with all my family you know we're having a good time you know very like that and people are coming up to me kissing me oh Greg oh my god look how big you you a grown man now how old are you now and at the time it is when was I I was about I think I give or take 18 17 years old and they're like, oh man, you you 18 now? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, I remember seeing you, can't remember seeing you as a little guy. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And I'm like, my head's going, who are you? And and I had to go after they left. I'm asking my dad or my aunts, who are they? You know, and I'm like, and they're, oh, those are your uncles and aunts. Yeah, they haven't seen you, most of them, because I have some aunts and uncles from, from England that haven't seen me since I was a little baby and so it was kind of hard and I'm like wow okay and then but that's not the embarrassing part the embarrassing part I'm at the I'm at the picnic and you know some people a lot of relatives brought friends along and stuff you know friends and I saw this I saw this uh, I saw this girl I saw this girl and um, I told Hope this story she died out laughing um, and I saw her and and she was she was just by the lake and she was just sitting there and, and you know, eating her food and I'm like okay so I make your move kid and I made, I made my move I'm talking to her and I'm, I'm just being myself, you know, learning, you know, you know, talking to her, getting to know her better, you know, wow, you know, this is cool and everything like that, and, um, uh, you know, before she walked away, she, you know, basically, guys, I was macking to her, okay, <laughs> um, and she, before she walked away, uh, she said, she said, what's your name again? She was like, and I'm like, Chris. She was like, Chris. Okay. It's, it's nice to see you again, Chris. And I'm like, see us again. And I'm, she's like, she's like, she said to me, Chris, you don't remember me, do you? And I'm like, at first, she's like, I'm like, no, I don't. And she's like, it's kind of hard. I know because... When I saw you were only six years old, and and she was she was I was six, and she said she was only uh, she was uh, man how was she, she was uh, four years older than me, so that'd make her she was ten years old at the time, and she was like it's me. It's me, Diamond, and I'm like, I don't remember you, and your cousin Diamond, and right there, once she said cousin, I dropped my plate, and I was like, oh my God, I was hitting on one of my cousins. That was probably the most embarrassing thing, um, and she, and I was like, why didn't you tell me? 
and she said, she said it, it sounded all so cool and stuff. I, I didn't want to stop you, and I would have. I was like, oh my god, and I said, I, I was like, Diamond, please don't tell nobody. I just did this, and she said, I, I won't tell nobody. So, after the picnic, we're driving. And my uncle said, that was a beautiful girl you sitting next to. Huh, kid? Huh, Chris? Too bad she's related. Or you could have been something. And I, and I was like, Diamond, she told. She must have ratted me out. I, that was the most embarrassing thing. That One of the most embarrassing thing. Me hitting on a distant cousin I haven't seen since I was six. And I couldn't remember her. Right there. <laughs> 